Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here. It is Team Rai Rai. How is everyone doing out there? And it's Thursday's edition. I am doing very well. But this weather sucks today. It's raining off and on. It's cold and it's damp. But I'm doing very well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. Especially in my Facebook page. It's called the Rara Show. The link will automatically take you to the page. Hopefully someone who watching the video will want to be part of the Rara Show. As a guest, we could discuss about anything. Whatever is on your mind. So please get back with me. And that wraps it up now. I will discuss for you wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab some drink. Now, if you don't like that, maybe you want to check out the villain, hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject, and of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below for this one. It'll just be an article. Let's get into this. Okay. Now, these are the wrestling fans who is a fan of the Iconics. Now, not that long ago, W released them from their contract. I don't know why, they just did. Instead of um, developing new superstars, young ones, they bring in the people we don't want to see. You know, but whatever, you know, that's how W is. They make some horrible decisions. But anyway, speaking of the, the Iconics, whenever it happens, they're going to have their own podcast. I'm assuming they're going to discuss other release from the WWE. So I'm assuming they're going to discuss that. Probably that'd be the main topic whenever, the, whenever they get launched. The podcast. Sorry, I got a little tongue-tied. Now, did you guys like the Iconics? Men... Or a woman, anyone who's watching this flipping video, you know, then McMahon decided to, you know what, let's break them up. Then he decided, you know what, I'm gonna lease the former members of the Iconics. Because if you think about it, it was a dumbest decision of releasing them as a tag team. They should never break them up, but that is McMahon for you. Then he decided. To have a single career for both of them. And of course. They both failed. Okay. I don't think. In my vision. In my thoughts. They don't really fit in the WWE scene. They don't. Okay. If they did. They would stick around longer. They're not Sasha Banks. They're not Bailey. They're not Charlotte Flair. Those people are going to stick around for many many years. Maybe. If. They don't have any issues backstage, you know. Or maybe it was a money issue why they released them, you know. I know some of you are very upset they released them. But it happens in the business, especially in the wrestling business, okay. I know you're going to say it happens more often with WWE than other wrestling companies. Especially around like spring uh, cleaning, you know. They'll be fine. They're young. Um... They're very, really, I don't know if they're really talented. You can't really tell from a couple matches. They need a lot more work, okay? W just did not treat them very well, of course, you know? Or maybe some of the ladies, somebody, maybe some of the ladies didn't like them in real life backstage. Maybe that was the part that got released. Who knows? Maybe Sasha Banks really cannot stand her. Or Bailey. Who knows? You know, jealousy, you know? I don't know. Can these ladies just all get along? Same thing for the men. What can they all get along? Just do your flipping job and just go home. Or whatever, you know? Yeah, I never did like the Iconics. What about you? You know? I don't know if they were a big impact from... NXT, I'm not too sure because I don't watch NXT. I mean, they have their WrestleMania moment. They they won the tag team belts, and then before you know it, they had to drop them. Terrible booking, and I don't know why McMahon decided to break them up. You know, he he does that a lot lately with tag teams. I don't know why he just does. Very stupid, you know. What is wrong with this old man? 
he lost his touch a long time ago. I'm assuming everyone will agree on that one. But the Iconics, whoever signs them, AEW, Impact Wrestling, anybody will love to have them in their roster. But they can't use it. The month. They can't use the name the Iconics because I think W owns that name, the rights. Or maybe the Iconics own that name. Who knows? So well, I wish them luck. I'm assuming, like I said before, the very first podcast episode will discuss why did they get released from the W. They might say some nice, pleasant words or some mean words to the company. I'm assuming all bad words. I'm assuming. And of course, if you want to listen to it, it's not going to be free. Probably it's going to be on some social media account you got to pay for, you know. You got to pay for their feeds, you know. So, you know, he's going to release more people by the time this year's over with. It's just whenever it happens, it's budget cuts. I'm just guessing. So... Let me know your honest, honest opinion on this. Do you guys care about this or don't care? Have a good one, and I'll see you guys tonight. Peace out and be safe.